peace to the world. We were bringing it in, it smelled a lot. Maybe because the cold now is. It's probably all frozen. Are there still ice drops on well, them? We were spraying it off, and the water started to freeze faster than we could clean it, so we had to rush it inside. With all these little ice balls on it. Matt Just always thinks I'm crazy because I always want to spray the Christmas tree off. I don't think you're crazy, but. You don't want to clean Christmas trees? Heart takes forever. And this always ends up being my job. Is this tree even straight? Why is it you and the wedgies these past few days? You were just the best dog. Did he get fed? I was. It's your first Christmas. Oh, this you got a lollipop? Is it Christmas time? Look, girl, this says October 22nd. We got this right after my birthday. Matt's birthday at Disneyland. 2010. 2010. That's three years before you were born. Girl, what you got? Do you know who made that? Oh. Grandma Rosemary. Can I not put this up next to yours? Yeah. Where? Right here? Yeah. For sure. Oh, See the eyes? Huh? Can I have light, please? See the eyes? Oh. Just hear those sleigh bells ring and ring, ding, 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 ding. Tell me about your most memorable ugly sweater party. I've never been invited to an ugly sweater party before. Actually, that's not true. I've been invited to one, and it was my family's. But it was when we, I think we lived in LA at the time, and I missed it. And to this day, it was like, I regret not being there so much because it was like so much fun. But my pictures in my phone were my grandparents' call. It's them at that party in their ugly sweaters. So I'm constantly reminded of that party I missed. <laughs> Moral of the story is, never miss out on an ugly sweater party. What's yours? I've only been to a couple. And one, I didn't dress up for. You didn't uh, wear an ugly sweater to an ugly sweater party? Well, I didn't really, it was before What kind of party goer trend. are you? Because you were so ahead of the trend. Uh, I don't know, I have a picture on Facebook. What's your sweater look like? This is your first ugly sweater. Yeah. Right? Oh, that's, I remember now. I didn't, have, this was the party I didn't bring one to. And Chip, I think Chip had a bunch of extra ones and I just wore one of his. He lived, uh, he lived on Fairfax. And he had a goat? <laughs> he had a goat and a dog with a tongue that was like this. <laughs> it was like a paralyzed tongue or something. Matt and I were talking to this woman who lives up the road from us. And uh, we had just met her. We were just small talking, whatever. And she said, uh, she asked like where we had moved, like where we lived exactly. And we told her, and she said, oh, you bought that, you bought the place uh, on top of the, on top of the, the mountain where the bobcat or the mountain lion lives. I did not do a very good job of telling it. <laughs> <laughs> and the dog ran away. Point is, is that. There's a bobcat uh, living on our property. Not a bobcat, a mountain. I know, why do we keep saying bobcat? Oh my gosh. Would you please move that light slower? The dog moves too fast. You're so close. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right, this here is such a good dog for not barking. We're going to Colorado Springs to pick up one of Crow's ornaments that he made. 
at this little paint brush strokes place. And I'm gonna wear my Christmas onesie. I am. I'm gonna wear it all day long. It's the first day of December. Hey! Yeah! What are you wearing, pickle face? What are you wearing? Oh, you're wearing your jammies too? I don't have any Christmas jammies, but I got me an ugly sweater. I walked downstairs and Crow said, I'm gonna wear my comfies. So what are you talking about? I'm not wearing comfies. He said, but it's so soft. You get to wear your comfies. Yeah, this was supposed to be mine. Mm -mm. All right, let's go, shall we? Yeah. All right, let's go pick up your Christmas ornament for brush strokes. How's that sound? Look, you guys, look where we are. We're back at that antique store that we tried to hit up before. Ooh. And we're actually here on the day that they're open. So let's see if we can find some fun stuff. There's no spiders, bro. Do you think I'd be down here if there were spiders? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, careful. Why are you so nervous? Because it looks so dark down here. Place where you find treasures. Yeah, you can find treasure in here, bro. Careful, slow. Why? Ooh, look at this. Well, that one's way nicer than ours. Yeah, but I like it. Look at this. I know, but ours is really flimsy. Yeah. Some of these lights. That's what I just said. I said these lights are awesome. Look at that one. Look at that right there. It's we put that in our hallway. Yeah, hanging for, like, from the stairs. The yeah. Here? I mean, yeah, that would be fun in our hallway or that one over there. This place is giving. It's dollars. Come on, do a pretty prance up the stairs. That was really pretty, but that, yeah, not very good. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! You're in, Crow. Look at all this fun Christmas stuff. Six bucks. I don't think that's a game. Blue's just like... It's heaven, like, is it looking here all day long? Hey, Dada. Look at that beautiful fox. <laughs> he looks like he got a little bit of a bloody eye. And some bird poop on his head. <laughs> he did not. He's beautiful, Crow. He did a good you job. You did a great job. Show Dada. It's also bloody. No, that one's, it's beautiful. I love it. I can't wait to put it on the tree. Who says you get to put it on the tree? Who else would? Put it on the tree. Yeah. All right, I can't wait for you to put it on the tree. Let's go see a movie. What movie are we gonna see? The Grinch. Kind of family moment. You make this kind of family moment? Yeah, but you gotta get down. Family moment. Family moment. Family moment. Family moment. If I step in your square, you melt in lava. You better move then. <laughs> that was a movie. It's so echoey in here. It was, it was, it was definitely a uh, rent at home. I had a feeling it was going to be. Well, it's the story of the Grinch. How many times can you watch the Grinch before you know what's going to happen? We have the perfect place for you guys to get your ugly Christmas sweater this year. We've teamed up with them to bring you this video. UglyChristmasSweater.com has sweaters and onesies for men, women, and couples. They have several different themes, Christmas, pop culture, political, suggestive, they have 3D sweaters, or you can fully customize one. They have blazers for men, leggings for women, and to get your ugly Christmas sweater with 15% off, all you gotta do is go to uglychristmassweater.com slash mattandblue and enter promo code mattandblue. So don't be like me and show up to your ugly Christmas sweater party without an ugly Christmas sweater. Uglychristmassweater.com slash mattandblue. Get 15% off when you use promo code mattandblue. How's it going up there? Yeah, 
Now it's my turn to paint. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. This project's a little bit bigger than styling the poster wall. Some ceiling paint, some sanding to be done, blues out running errands. I'm left with this job. And I think that we're gonna nail it. So this room is like right outside of Crow's room. We have one outside of our room as well, but it's like this, like, sunroom type of deck where we think that maybe they had um used to be outside and then they closed it in but they started doing all this drywall work they had started to finish this project and then they just never got to finishing it so we're gonna finish it and it's going to look so nice when we're done but i have a feeling it's gonna be kind of a big project just because it's a lot of unfinished stuff that probably sat unfinished for kind of a long time Let's get started. <laughs> Time's plastic. Well, we're gonna start with kills. Okay, so we're gonna prime these walls first. Typically, obviously, you would do your drywall layer coating all over this before you started painting, but there are so many big projects in this house that some of these spaces, we just have to make them clean and livable. When we are ready to get into the bigger projects, we'll get come back and probably over all this paint do it properly. And you probably noticed we do that a lot in our living spaces. We did it a lot with our house in Phoenix. We're gonna do it a lot here. We did it with downstairs with our the, that guest bedroom when we had all that plywood and just sort of covered it. But um, fortunately, we are the type of who will actually get around to going back and doing it proper. But, you know, sometimes you just need your living space to be clean and a little bit prettier. So you wanna know the funny thing? Blue's probably watching this right now as he's editing it and shaking his head at the way I'm doing all these things. He's probably thinking, he doesn't need to do all that spackle. Why is he doing the spackle that way? <laughs> but you know what? I'm the one doing it. Not him. These windows are nuts with the sun. It is so hot in here. I am sweating and I feel like I just have like dust sticking to my sweaty body everywhere. And I, not in a sexy way at all. All right, first layer of primer is on. That's what it used to look like. This is what it looks like now. These boxes, better than using plastic are so difficult to work with. Most well, difficult boxes. We were kind of in a pinch with these boxes because our other order fell through. One, two, three, wait, five. So there's, oh wait, oh my gosh, we have to open those up. Oh my gosh, there's no packing slips in there. It's in here, Dennis and Toby and who else? And another dentist. Two dentists. Please buy our candles so Matt can afford to buy a razor and shave. No, <laughs> they, I need to go shave. But they did buy candles, but they, theirs are going to be open to close. You guys were our first few orders of the candles. So your packing process to whatever has been a little bit on the, uh, you are our guinea pigs. But we got a lot more candles to pop, box up. Showing real high professionality, man. <laughs> you know what? We're small business. We're learning.